Hi, my name's Dan, and this is one in a series of videos I'm making about uh, using physics and physics simulation in the Unreal Engine. And in this one, I'm going to talk about physics volumes. Uh, so they're, they're somewhat helpful. Um, I've been playing around with one, and um, is again, it's one of those things where you have to tweak the settings to get the effect that you're, that you're looking for. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm uh, just going to... Oh, sorry, I should have said this is a standard third-person template and I haven't added anything to it. Um, so I'm going to look for a physics volume. So uh, in Unreal, volumes are uh, invisible boxes that encompass an area uh, that you can use to create effects inside. Um, and I'm just going to stretch this area out. So when you're actually playing the game, you don't see the bounding box for this. Um, but it has should have some effect within the confines of it. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm I'm quite deliberately making it so that it kind of fits inside this this niche, this gap here, uh, just so that I've got some good idea uh, for myself where the box is. Um, and they're they're particularly useful for simulating uh, the idea of walking through water, particularly or other kinds of fluids. So I've got the box selected, and I'm uh, going to the character movement section of the details here. Uh, there are various things you can set here. So the terminal velocity. Um, let's uh, see what happens if I just reduce the terminal velocity down a lot within that, uh, and it should affect the character movement. And when I get into that area, it's given me a very slow terminal velocity. In fact, I can slide around sideways now. So this kind of slamming around is a bit of a strange effect that you get there. Uh, I want to show you something with this physics volume. You notice that it, um, in the volume, let's just select it, it's talking about character movement there, and that's what's being affected inside the volume. Um, and uh, we can show that it doesn't have the same effect on other objects. So I'm just pulled in a cube there. And I'm going to put simulate physics on that cube and, and bring it to the top. And if we press play, then that falls normally. So the character has their terminal velocity affected, but the cube doesn't. So uh, we've got other settings in here as well. Let's go back to our uh, uh, selecting our volume. So it's kind of hard to select volumes this way because you've got to actually click right on that line to get it. Um, so that's the physics volume, and we're back under these character movement settings. There we go. So let's set the terminal velocity back to 40,000. Uh, but we're going to um, make it act as if you're walking in water when you're in it, and we're going to uh, give it some fluid friction. That's a relatively low value. Um, I'm just going to up that to 1, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so this is going to... Uh, Yes, our box is still there. Um, as I'm walking here, I can't walk as fast. As you can see, I get where I get to the end of the volume, it jumps. So I'm kind of slowed down almost to a walk here, not quite, um, as I jump up. Actually, this in itself has reduced the falling velocity because I'm uh, it's kind of thinking I'm in a kind of custody type. Situation and also you can't tell that I haven't hit the space button here, but I can't jump either because this liquid's too viscous. So one thing you can see quite clearly is the edge of this volume and the difference that it's making as I, I'm getting into it. Uh, as I said before, it it's particularly really meant for simulating uh, walking through water, uh, maybe kind of waist high water. So having it just in the middle of the air like this isn't the the most realistic thing to do. Uh, you'd probably have a water surface and you'd have this um, uh, uh, embedded in a surface so that uh, you can either jump in or walk slowly into the water. Uh, anyway, that's the physics volume and uh, a little bit about how it works. And that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.